Hi guys, this is Steve of the Guru Brew. Today we're going to look at a Toshiba laptop. This Toshiba laptop is a satellite L355 and the problem with it is the power jack um, fell out of its place because someone tripped over the cord. So uh, the power jack is inside here. It's located here. I don't know what shape it's in yet. I'm going to have to take this case all apart and see if I can repair the jack and uh, hopefully the jack is not mounted to the motherboard which will cause other problems. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on tearing this down and uh, hang with me. The power jack is fallen inside the computer because somebody tripped on the cord itself. You can actually see it a little bit through this little hole. So it's, it's over here. So that's why we're taking this apart. wooden hidden screw right here.
Okay, I have the cover off here. Let's take a look at the problem. So the jack just uh, looks like it came right out of the socket here. It doesn't look like any harm's been done at all, hopefully. Um, I'm going to take a uh, finer look at it and uh, make sure the jack's not broke and then uh, put it all back together. We'll test it first. I'll be back. Okay, I've got some more light on here. Let's see if we can get a better look at the problem. This jack came out of the uh, out of the plastic here and it did crack a little bit on the bottom and it was sitting over here. Somebody had tripped over the cord, so I am going to put it in there best I can and then just put a little glue on there. It seems to be fine. Um, I normally wouldn't glue these but it's just uh, the plastic itself. And the connections all seem good so I'm just going to glue that right there. funny they put these cheap little clips on there and then they expect it to hold on that'll be better than factory just let it dry a little bit okay I've got some glue um, down at the base of this holding it, holding it down so that crack won't affect it and then the top of it has this uh, little notched out area here that holds the, the top of this from moving around so I made sure I didn't get any glue around that area so it will be better than it was before for sure I'm gonna go ahead and button this up before I do though um, since I have the thing apart I can always put a vacuum on this fan and there's uh, these hinge screws are always loose and um, since you're in here anyway, it makes sense to go ahead and just give them a twist, look at that, and just tighten them up and give it a, a quick look and make sure there's nothing else that I could do while I'm in here, but I'm going to get the fan and put it on that. Even though I don't charge my customers for this little bit of extra service, I feel like I'm doing them right by going the extra mile, cleaning the fans, checking the screws, that sort of thing. And uh, if they don't have any problems with this, I'll get a good recommendation from them. So that's as good as gold to me. Let's get this thing back together. Just so you Toshiba satellite owners know, um, if you take the keyboard off, you can actually clean the processor fan right there. You don't have to take this whole case off. So if that's what you're after is clean, um, looks easy enough. Just take the keyboard off and clean the fan from right there. Just a little tip.
Okay, time to run the screws back in. One nice thing about the Toshiba, there's only about three different screw sizes. And as long as you keep the screw, screw size, sizes uh, separated, you'll be just fine taking these apart and putting them back together. Their label is F4, F7, and um, the keyboard ones aren't labeled. So, it's easy enough. Some guys use use uh, power drivers. In fact, I have one right here, but uh, I don't use it because I like to feel the torque. Um, these plastic pieces can break so easily. So I think it just gives a little more control if you keep the motors out of it and just uh, feel the screwdriver. No shortage of screws on this one, I'll tell you that. I should have counted all these. Just for fun. There's two screws on the side here, uh, labeled F7, which is kind of unusual. She decided it needed a couple screws on the side here, so those are the last two case screws. So the hard drive has an 08 um, date on it, so it's about four years old, I guess. At least the hard drive is. This Toshiba happens to have a really nice large screen on it. That's one thing I really like about it. Last thing you want to put back on is the battery. I think I have everything back on. So, there's our battery. Let's see what happens. Well, I think you ran the charge down on it, so I don't expect it to fire up. She's a beauty. Fits right in there. And I've got the charge light. It's a beautiful thing. Let's we'll see if this bad boy fires up. Hey, very good. Okay, guys, you seen it. I'll fix the power jack on this one. I hope you uh, got a little entertainment out of me taking apart this laptop. And, uh, I'm glad it wasn't too big a problem, and I'm glad that the power jack wasn't part of the motherboard. So it all worked out fine in the end. I'm going to go ahead and call the customer and get him to pick it up today. I'm sure you'd like it over the holiday weekend. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, and happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.